of Dave Chasco in the Tea Kettle Restaurant sponsored entry. And our final starter on the field will be the 10 of Mitch Bombard. The final event of the night takes the green flag, and it's the 38 who scoots out to the early lead. The 43 hangs tough on the outside. They are side by side as they go down the back stretch and into turn number three. They ramble off the corner, still side by side. Keeney gets around, and the field scatters. Catching him is Moran. They both battle their way onto the grass. Slowly chugs its way into the turn three and four area. John Noon's the man on the point. Craig Merriman hurls the green flag in the air, and we are underway. Noon's on the inside. Stakes his claim to the lead. It looks to pull away down the backstretch from the 20 of Donnellan. Donnellan has to worry about the oncoming Ray Reed in the 87. As those three cars battle for the same spot of asphalt on the track, right now it's the five of Noons who leads the field into turn one. A side-by-side -side duel for a second as Donnellan on the outside tries to pull even with our leader and leave Reed in the dust as they clamber their way off the corner. Still hanging out on the outside is Patrick Donnellan. But Nunes has the lead for now. Reed has made it a side-by-side -side slugfest. The 24 of Skinner and the 43 of Rion were together. So after our leader, they are two by two stacked up like pancakes for the battle from second to fifth. But coming out on top is the 87 of Reed. Pulling him along, the 43 of Realm will try to get by Donnellan and may not be done as he took a look underneath Reed, but Reed shuts the door by the time they hit turn two and go down the back stretch. Noons leads the way off the turn. Reed in tow by about half a car length, and he has to worry about that streaking yellow 43 behind him up early on. Skinner trying to push Donnellan back into the fifth spot and perhaps make his way into the battle up front. Noons goes way wide up by the marbles, and that allows Reed to put the 87 underneath. And Noons may not be able to get down quick enough to hold off the 43 of Realm, who will make the move to get second. And if he can't get down, lurking in the distance is the 24 of Skinner. Here comes Castro through the field in the 88, who was the winner two weeks ago when we were here at the speedball. Reed now looks to pull away from the field. He has Rion by about half a car length. Then it's the side-by-side -side duel between Skinner and our early leader, John Noons. At the front, slowly trying to close, is Rion. But Reed able to hold him off for now. 10 down, 15 to go. And now Rion sees his opportunity. Gets to the left rear, gets to the door handle, almost gets even, has the leverage. Will he have the spot? And he will take over the lead when he hit the line. Now it's Reed's turn to try to pick up something. Maybe he'll fall back in line and try to do the crossover, but it looks like Rome is too tough. As Reed gets there in the corner panel, a little tap. Everyone able to save it. But Rion, with a burst of energy from that tap, pulls away by about three car lengths. A smoke show going on and up fire down the backstretch. As a car heads into the infield. William Rion leads him back to the green. And like he was fired out of a cannon, takes the lead in turn one. Ray Reed tucks it down back behind the back bumper, and those two cars track their way down into turns three and four. The 80, the 24 of Sean Skinner, the points leader, has moved into the third spot. 
Castro, the winner two weeks ago, has moved into fourth, leaving Nunes on the outside. Nunes is not giving up, and here comes Moran, who was involved in that lap one altercation. He sits in the sixth spot. They wore a single file across the line with 11 to go. And down the back stretch, the top three have broken away from the fourth place runner of the 88 of Castro. Castro has to worry about the double barrel attack. He has Nunes to the outside. Nunes slips up a bit, loses the battle between Castro, and may lose another one between he and Greg Moran. We will be down to single digits when Riom crosses the line. Ray Reed looking to plan an attack in the final stages. Riom has yet to visit Victory Lane this year. He had a third two weeks ago and a third on opening night. But right now he is seven and a half, seven and a half laps away from picking up the win. Best battle on the track is the three-car tussle for fifth. Moran has it. Noons slides again. And that may cost him P.J. Childs. Moves into battle. Noons loses one spot and may lose another one to Bombard. Drop kicking him all the way to eighth. Six to go. And still a healthy advantage for Borreon. Five. Five. This time by. Battle for third. It is Ben Castro and Sean Skinner. And Castro trying to whittle his way underneath Skinner in turns one and two. And that only helps the cars running in first and second as they're able to pull away. Battle for third. Castro has the leverage on the inside. Is he able to tucker out Skinner, who's on the outside? Skinner and Castro in a duel for the final two and a half laps. Riom now pulls away has opened up the biggest advantage he's had of the night as they get twirling twos down to the final two. Reed in second, and for now, Castro has outlasted Skinner. And the 88 will clear the 24 down the backstretch. Does Castro have anything to fire in the final lap and a half? White flag, one lap to go for Burrell. Ray Reed in second and Ben Castro make up the top three for the final time tonight into turns three and four. Bill Riome will come off turn number four and for the first time in 2023, he will win in the Super X car feature event. Ray Reed comes home second, Ben Castro third, Sean Skinner is fourth, Greg Moran fifth. In sixth, it was P.J. Childs, Mitch Bombard seventh, John Noon's eighth, well, for the first time in 2023, putting it in victory lane, the 43 of Bill Riom and Bill, we talked a few weeks ago, you said the car was coming, it came in tonight. Yeah, it's here, yep. First of all, I would like to thank my, uh, my savior, Jesus Christ, my wife, my brother, Brandon, wherever he went to, there he is, um, Lyman Pond, Mike, uh, Giro, Kyle, Aaron Plemons, Big George, my brother Harry, everybody who came out here to support me. I'm sorry if my sister-in-law Jamie, my wife Christy right there, Eddie Bragdon's wife Carol with a K. <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was fun. I had fun with Ray. Nice job, Ray. That was a good job. There was a couple of times you guys diced it up for the lead. Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah, but my car was hooked up thanks to Brandon. 
Can't take, I can't take the credit, he does the work. Well, let's give all the other people who are on the car their credit for the win tonight. Uncasville Oil, um, Mike McCarthy, McCarthy Oil, he sponsors us, believe it or not, Uncasville Oil, McCarthy Oil, from Quaker Hill. Um, Billy Tebow, he's a welding and fab, he does our exhaust and stuff, and uh, uh, that's about it, I think.